Hey everybody, today we are going to make these clay gnomes that are going to end up looking like this. They're super cute and they're really easy and fun. You can do a lot of different customizing on them when you start to paint or sculpt them. So um, we're going to get all your supplies out. So you're going to have some water, your template, um, some kind of like butter knife or knife to cut out the clay from your template and you're going to have um, something to smooth and something to point. So this will be like a toothpick or something like that. And this is going to be like a popsicle stick or like the end of a butter knife. So anything like that will work. Even your hands will work. So you can go ahead and get started here. So the first thing I did was I just put this in a ball. I put the dry air dry clay in a ball and I always am trying to keep it like a little moist, just a little bit. You can either spritz it with water, with a spray bottle, or get your hands wet, because um, it does dry out pretty quick. So just get that nice and soft. Oh, and the other thing you're gonna need is something to roll out your clay. So I have a rolling pin, but you can definitely use like a glass, like a drinking glass, um, something like that jar of pasta sauce, anything like that. So I'm going to kind of flatten it out a bit first. Get my rolling pin. And I, you're going to want to make sure that you roll it a little bit and then flip it over and like turn it so that you're rolling it in a even circle. So just roll a couple times and then flip it over and turn it. Flip it over and turn it. I'm not pushing very hard, but I'm making sure to not let the ends get way thinner than the middle. So I'm not pushing harder on the ends for sure. But you can let it be about this thick. So I'd say that's maybe a little over a quarter inch or so. It just has to be big enough for you to put your template on there. That is most of what we're going to use this clay for. You don't use a whole lot outside of this. So you'll have extra so you can make other stuff if you want. So I'm going to just set that on here. And I'm going to take my cutting tool, my knife, and I, I did put a little, you know, divot up here. Um, that you're going to want to cut off but when I first make these cuts I'm not going to worry about trying to get that on there so I'm just going to make a straight cut like that and a straight cut like this that is going to crisscross at the top okay and then a curved cut at the bottom all right so then we have our rounded triangle and now I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and do that off the top. It doesn't have to be exact. So these scraps that we've got, I would suggest, you know, getting your hands wet and putting them in and getting it back in like a little ball so that it's damp and then wrapping it up as tight as you can in your plastic bag so it stays uh, moldable and soft. So we'll set that aside for right now. Okay, gently peel this off. And figure out which side you want to be the outside. It totally doesn't matter. All up to you. And we're gonna start making this into a cone, okay? So I'm putting it together like this and I'm pinching the top like that. Kind of looks like a cape. And then this top part, I'm gonna be able to pinch into a point. And we're gonna keep pinching this bottom part. Okay, I'm just 
just pinch that together. You can kind of put your hand in here and put some pressure on the back if you want. Just pushing it together and smoothing it out. You can use the water to help you smooth it out a little bit. You can use any, any tools that you've got, kind of roll or anything like that. And you can also get in here and use like the end of your popsicle stick or anything and and just smooth out this seam that is going to happen on the inside and just further push it together. So I'm gonna get some water happening in here and just do some smoothing. You can do as much or as little smoothing as you want. You just wanna make sure that it is stuck together. You can also, this is the time where you, if you wanna shape the top of his hat, you can kind of make it into a curve or whatever you want to do. You can really stretch this out and make it really tall if you want also. So let's do like that. Might have some cracks on the back that you can smooth out. I use the back of my fingernail a lot if you notice. Okay. So there we got our little guy. I'm gonna go back and grab our extra clay that we set aside. And pinch off a little ball. This is gonna be his nose. Roll that in between your hands, make a, make a little ball, figure out how big you want it. And then, so this is gonna be the front of his face. And so I'm going to kind of make a little divot like this. So it is easier for his nose to sit on that kind of peaked front of his face. So it sits something like this on there a little easier. So if you get both surfaces just a little wet, like that, and then put that on there, kind of press it a little bit. We are going to have to go through and, and attach it, but what we're going to do is take either your toothpick or your blending tool and go in like this. And it's kind of tricky, so you might need a second set of hands. You're going to smooth it down. like this and you know actually this is a little easier with like a pointed like a toothpick even just depends on what works better for you go all the way around Once it's all the way around, you know, stuck on there, the first time you can go in and like smooth out any little bits that you got. And just stick this directly in the water, even. good. All right, now the next thing is we're going to make 
uh, it's a bit of an optical illusion. We're gonna make his hat, even though he's kind of already wearing it. We're gonna make the brim of his hat. So I'm pinching off some clay. And this is the last little bit of clay we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the bag. Might get it a little wet first. Because this is still a lot of clay. So you could make another one uh, maybe if you have enough or you can make something else. So I'm gonna get this piece wet and we're gonna roll this into a snake. So I'm doing this first, kind of just pinching it into a tube. Can roll it out like this because it's a smaller amount of clay than anything that we're you know we're making it even smaller than anything we've worked out before we're gonna keep your hands kind of wet you know it slides around a little bit on the table so you can just use a, a plate if you want but it'll all wipe off of any surface it'll wash off of your clothes or your hands It kind of dries out your hands. If you want to wear gloves, you could do that. But it isn't going to hurt anything. It's not going to stain. All right, so roll this out. Have our little guy. We're going to lay this like that and figure out where we want his hat to be, where we want his hat to lie. So I'm gonna just stick it kind of like this. And obviously we got a lot of extra back here. So you can kind of estimate and figure out how much you need and make some cuts. Here's some pinches. And I'm gonna just get like everywhere that I kind of think his hat is gonna be wet with my finger. And then I have found that just taking this whole thing and like really quickly dumping it, dunking it, in your bowl of water or like spritzing the whole thing with with the spray bottle works the best so we're gonna lay this on here and we're gonna do the same thing we did with his nose we are gonna smooth the whole thing um, into his body but we're actually only gonna do the top Part. So only this part is where we're going to do the, this little attaching, okay? Kind of got to hold it in place sometimes with this hand. Sort of smoothen as I go. Okay, you can kind of smooth out everything with your fingers and some water. If you have like the like the end of a paintbrush, you could get that wet, you know, the rounded end without the brush part. That would be good in here too. But I like to just use the back of my fingernail a lot. Moving everything out. So 
So now is the point where if you wanted to, you know, like carve stuff into their hat um, or anything, you could do that as well because the next step is we're gonna make his beard. You can just stop right here if you want, you know, he looks perfectly fine. But I'm gonna put in some lines to make his beard here. And I'm also gonna just kind of attach this on the bottom a bit to make sure it doesn't come off while it's drying. You don't really need to here. Um, we wanna keep that line nice and sharp so it looks like he's got a, a hat on. But now I can really gently hold this like that and you're gonna go in with your toothpick or your, or your pointy tool and just make lines, just little dash marks. I like to start at the top and go in a circle, make his like a mustache sort of thing first, and then just go down. You can kind of stagger them and make them as big or as long or as short or whatever as you like. Can make them squiggly if you wanted. You can make like little curly beards. Let's make sure you're not squishing him too much. See, I kind of squishing his hat a little bit. But you could set this on the table if you wanted to. starting to dry on me, which is okay. So I think I just got everything I needed to do. Got all of his beard all texturized and everything. We are good to go. You can do any last smoothing you want before letting him hang out to dry. This is gonna take, I would recommend like two hours probably of him sitting like this. And then when he's kinda um, toughened up a little bit, you're gonna wanna lay him on his side so that the inside part um, can dry out. You can also write your name in here if you want, you know, if you're making a couple of these with your siblings or friends or anybody. So two hours or so like this, a couple hours like this, and then he's all done. It'll get a little bit lighter. You know, this is a more of a white color than this is, so he'll dry out a little bit whiter. And then you can paint him with acrylic paint. Um, you could color on him with markers if you wanted to. You don't want to set him outside in the rain or anything because like we saw, the water is what keeps it soft. So. Just keep him inside, but you could put him in with uh, plants and stuff as long as you move the move him out of the way before you water and let the soil dry out on top first. But there you go, you got a little gnome and you should have some extra clay to make something else if you want. Thanks guys.